hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for the support on the last video i really really appreciate it and if you like the videos like i said please subscribe i would really appreciate it so today i'm gonna be talking about 15 things about everyday life in finland So let's jump right into the video. So these are 15 things about everyday life in Finland. By these, I mean that these are just like normal way of life or normal way of living for Finnish people. And to some people uh, who have just moved here or who are intending to move to Finland, it could be also like a shock, but these are just like normal things that happen in everyday life. So uh, the first thing, I'd like to talk about is you wave in Finland at a bus. So if you are in a bus stop and you want to go somewhere and you do not wave at a bus, it is possible that the bus will just pass you by. <laughs> it just pass you by. So you have to like, you know, wave and the bus stops. And to come down also at the bus, you have to press the button. So if you're supposed to come down in a particular bus stop and you didn't press the button, the bus can just pass by if nobody waved and nobody pressed the stop button. So in Tampere, it's something that's very common and very usual. But in Helsinki, among the trams, uh, the trams usually stop at every bus stop if there's somebody waiting at the bus stop. But it, it, with the buses, they are not obliged. The train, of course, stops at every bus stop, but the bus doesn't stop at every bus stop if there's nobody. And sometimes there would be people at the bus stop and the bus would not stop. So you have to wave if you want to catch a bus and you have to press the stop button in the bus if you want to highlight or come down at a particular bus stop. The second thing on my list is lunch in Finland is usually at about 10 a.m. or 10.30 in the morning. Yeah, so in some countries, like where I'm from, lunch is later. Usually we have lunch like 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon and dinner at like 8, 9 or even 7, 8, 9. But in Finland, it's different. When you're having lunch in Finland, 11 actually, even by 12, people are actually done with lunch. And <laughs> another thing I found interesting is that lunch at 1 p.m., in the afternoon can be seen as late lunch like if you're having lunch at 2 p.m you're like oh that's a late lunch I'm like actually that's my normal time of lunch but here in finland it's normal for people to have lunch such early hours of the day and dinner usually is from 6 p.m or even 5 p.m some people have dinner at 4 p.m so yeah it's normal to have dinner at 4 5 6 p.m and then later they usually have what they call this uh evening snack like iltapala something that they have after dinner just before they go to bed the third point is in finland we drink water from the tap so yes in finland the tap water is considered generally clean and healthy and you don't have to buy bottled water as a matter of fact i do not think that bottled water is a big business here in finland because anywhere you go even from the toilet you can open the tap and drink water the water is very clean and very healthy also in the restaurants water is usually free they don't you don't have to pay for water it's free because it comes in a jug and then there's usually a tap sometimes in some restaurants where you can just always go and get free water so yeah water is is free for everyone here in the restaurants of course we have water bill at home but you can drink directly from your tap and from the tap there's hot and there's cold water so if you want to turn it left you get hot water or you turn it right you get cold water so the fourth thing about everyday life in finland is that the banks do not send you any alerts <laughs> okay so when i when i when i came here and i opened my first bank account and i went to the bank and i you know put money in it and you know i got my first salary and stuff like that i was expecting to get some sort of alert even if it's email or text message because in nigeria alert is a thing but here it's nothing and then i asked they said they don't actually do that here and I was thinking, oh, my, that might be a good idea to actually start here. But another thing also I realized is that the, 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 the businesses here are not necessarily competitive 
so there's no urge on it people are satisfied if you want to check your bank balance just go to your internet banking system and type in your username and password and then you can check and see what's in your account even if your salary comes into your account you don't even get an alert but of course you know that there's a particular day that you're going to be paid your salary so you just have to check each time your bank details but of course there are other mobile apps that you can attach to your bank account and such that when you pay or spend money in shops you can get alerts for those kinds of transactions the fifth thing about everyday life in finland is that sunday is a very quiet day in finland so it's it's kind of laid back day a lot of shops don't open i mentioned in my previous video that uh, if you work on Sunday, you are eligible for double pay. So maybe this is also a reason why people do not really open their shops on Sunday because some people cannot afford to pay the salary for Sunday workers. But even the shops that are even open on Sunday, some of them by 6 o'clock or 4 o'clock, most of them are closed. So it's a very quiet day. Expect to go to the malls on Sunday at 6 o'clock and all the shops are closed. In Nigeria, Sunday is a busy day. People go to watch movies. People are outdoors drinking in the bars. But in Finland, it's very different. Sunday is like family time. So everybody's just chilling at home and taking it easy, watching TV and, you know, just spending time with family. I think I kind of like that, really. The sixth thing on my list would be wide roads in Finland. So in Finland, the roads are very, very wide in the sense that it allows uh, not just cars to drive on them, but it allows uh, pedestrians to walk on them and allows bikers and cyclists to ride. So... It's, it's, it's normal that in the road there is uh, a biking line for bicycles and then there's a walking pedestrian line. And well, when I came, I, I, I saw the sign and the sign is there, it's evident that you can actually see it. But if you're walking on the, on the bicycle line and a, bike's, and, and a biker is coming, he can be a little bit pissed off at you if, you know, because you're supposed to actually walk on the pedestrian line. So it's something that uh, encourages walking. So you can even walk for up to five kilometers, depending, you can keep fit, you can cycle. And Finns love to cycle a lot, especially during the summer. A lot of people use their bike. And the bike lanes can also be used for skating. So I know some people that actually even skate to work. I used to have a friend back in Tampere that would, you know, dress up for work on a Monday morning and then use his skater board and skate five kilometers from where he lives to his office. So yeah, that's something about everyday life in Finland. The seventh point is no traffic usually in Finland. Usually, especially in, in you know, most cities, uh, maybe Helsinki might be a little bit different, but it's normal that you, you're going to work and you have to resume work at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. in the morning. And if you calculate your journey and it takes you 20 minutes to get to work, you can leave your home at 7.30 and you'll be at work at 8 a.m. in the morning. Usually there are no delays because if the commute already says that it's going to take you 20 minutes to get to work, it's going to take you 20 minutes to get to work. There are usually no delays and yeah, that's very efficient way of living. You don't have to spend hours in traffic, unpredictable hours in traffic. Usually the, the real-time traffic online is very much updated and if there's traffic it actually shows that oh there's traffic and there could be like minor one minute or two minute delays max or maybe even max during rush hours as from 9 a.m in the morning or 4 p.m in the afternoon there'll be like maybe five minute delays but in other cities apart from helsinki you are there on the dots and you can even leave uh, five minutes before if it takes you three minutes to get there and you're going to be there so the, it's it's a very efficient uh, way of living in my opinion because where i'm from and where i used to live i could leave the house in the morning at six o'clock and i'm getting to work at 8 a.m it's possible to spend two hours in traffic for a very short you know a very short hour drive or maybe three kilometers five kilometers or ten kilometers but in finland you're there when it says you're going to be there and there are usually no delays. So the eighth thing on my list is the holidays in Finland. So usually on public holidays, things are closed and a lot of shops do not open. 
And yeah, expect that maybe, for example, uh, May Day or, or, or Midsummer, and Finland is also known for celebrating some kind of religious holidays. And sometimes some shops are closing early because holidays also is a little bit like a Sunday in the sense that if you work on a holiday, you are also compensated for working on a holiday. So Independence Day, May Day, uh, Midsummer, Ascension Day, whatever, a lot of shops are closed or even the ones that open at all, they close very early. Number nine is there is no word for please in the Finnish language. Yes. So in Finnish, if you are, if you're trying to, to, to say please to somebody, there's no, there's no word for please. Can I have a glass of water? It's usually like, uh, asked in form of like a question. Can I have a glass of water? Like Sanko, uh, Kupiveta, or they say, can I have a glass of water? Thank you. And they put thank you at the end of the sentence. So it's going to be either like a question or it's going to be thank you at the end there's usually no please officially and people don't really use that so it's it, it's it's something that i also found a little bit uh, i had to get used to because it's not like people are ordering you it's uh, they're actually very polite to tell you uh can i so they consider even questions as a polite way of asking somebody for something and you don't have to put please but of course there is this uh, slang now that people say please and <laughs> yeah you can also use that too but usually uh, there's no such word for that in the finnish language number 10 is uh noise at 10 p.m. So in Finland it's normal that uh, most most uh, residential apartments and most uh, places uh, as from 10 p.m. they advise that you shouldn't make noise. It's okay to demand for for quietness after 10 p.m. and if a neighbor is making noise after 10 p.m. it's okay to go and knock on their door and tell them please you're, you're making noise and you can bring down the noise. And uh, so in some cases if they don't feel like knocking at your door, it's normal for them to call the police for you if you are disturbing the neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> so I've actually called the police for some people in Tampere and they were making noise at, at 2 a.m. And the reason is because I've seen people calling the police and the police will just be there in like five minutes. So these people were making noise like across the across the building they were actually breaking bottles i think there was a fight and it kind of woke up everybody in my in my building and we were all students and naive but because i knew that i could actually call the police and i couldn't go there to tell them to stop making noise because it was a little bit of a hazardous situation i called the police and they got there in like five minutes and everywhere was quiet <laughs> so the police are very efficient in finland and it's your right you can actually call the police and the police will be there to your rescue <laughs> number 11 no shoes are allowed in finnish homes yes so it is rude to wear shoes into a finnish home and usually in finland there is a rack by the door where you're supposed to keep your shoes and they do not like that you wear your shoes into their homes this is because Finns are actually very clean people and yeah it is understandable that your shoes can bring in dirt it can bring in leaves it can bring in snow and in some apartment buildings there's a there's a brush thing at the entrance of the door especially when it snows so that you can actually brush your boots but when you get into a finished home it is expected that you take off your shoes at the door and then just walk in with your socks so you can take off your shoes at the door take off your jacket also take off your hats because those things are, are important to take them off and then you can come into a finished home. The 12th thing is the bags in the grocery stores. So in Finland, uh, you have to buy your plastic bag in the grocery store. And yes, I found it a little bit, uh, it was a, a little bit of a surprise for me when I came because uh, where I'm from, you buy things and the grocery bag is free and they even pack the things for you. But here in Finland, you have to buy your grocery bag and then you have to pack the things by yourself. And I think that this is a way to discourage people from uh, using plastics because as we all know plastics are bad for the environment and uh, they, are, they are trying to, you know, minimize the way. So it's normal that in Finland you can have your own grocery bag, like not necessarily a plastic bag, but a, a cloth bag that you put and then you take to the grocery store and you, when you shop, 
you put your stuff in the grocery uh, go, uh, in the bag because even though the bags are cheap for about 20 cents or 40 cents yeah some people do not like to buy uh plastic bags but sometimes it's normal if you forget and uh, you don't have any bag of course those are always at your disposal uh the 13th thing is it's normal that you don't know your neighbor in Finland, okay? So in Nigeria, you know, it's when you move into an apartment, it's, it's normal to go and knock on the door and say hello and say, I'm the new neighbor, uh, my name is whatever, introduce yourself. It's also normal where I'm from that people cook and give to neighbors like on festive seasons. Well, here in Finland, you do, it's okay not to, to even know your neighbor. And you, you, you can know their name because usually there's a name tag at the door for their... Uh, mails and the post but it's okay not to know your neighbor i've passed by my neighbor several and I, I didn't even know they were my neighbors and you don't even greet them so it's still okay not to know your neighbor it's still okay not to greet your neighbor so you can live next to somebody for years it was a shock to me of course because you live next to somebody for so many years and you don't even know who they are you don't know what they do but in some cases of course people know their neighbors but it's not something that is is normal it's also normal that uh you avoid your neighbor so you can you can hear that your neighbor is leaving the house or is coming down and you wait it's a thing <laughs> in finland to to wait for your neighbor to pass and use the stairs or whatever and then you can now people are a little bit shy to talk to neighbors and they try as much as possible to avoid small talk i think it's, it's, it's a little bit of a horror story sometimes being stuck with a neighbor in the elevator and then you guys do not actually know each other sometimes it's very very awkward and they just take their face away and then you take your face away until you get to your destination so the 14th thing is ceiling fans. In Finland, there are no ceiling fans. I have never seen a ceiling fan since I moved to Finland. Uh, the buildings are also not constructed for ceiling fans. So it's, it's actually very hot sometimes during the summer. And in the summers, people would scramble for air conditioning and standing fans. They are not built to have this uh, fan rolling over your head. And yeah, so because of course i understand that it's a very cold country and it's usually cold most parts or most times during the year but yeah i know that it's something that is also a little bit weird if you are not used to it so do not expect to see a ceiling fan when you come to finland and the 15th thing on my list would be uh no smoking indoors so in finland you're not allowed to smoke indoors in bars in restaurants most places are beginning to even discourage smoking on the balcony because when i first came to finland there are some places that permit you to smoke on the balcony i'm not a smoker but these signs are everywhere and uh, it's something that i've also seen when i came that a lot of people are smoking outside on the streets in apartment buildings most uh, landlords or residential buildings do not even want tenants smoking in the balcony they tell you to go down of your from your apartment and take like at least be one meter away from the building to smoke and it's, it's a way to maybe discourage smoker smoking and also to discourage a second party or third party smoking because when you're smoking next to somebody in the bar it's possible that somebody else inhales the smoke so everybody in finland smokes all the smokers in finland smoke outside so this brings me to the end of the 15 things about everyday life in Finland. If you love this video, please subscribe, like and share. I'll be making more videos about my experiences in Finland. Thank you so much for watching and bye.